Welcome, 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 welcome to that new banger video, guys. Make sure you guys are liking this video and also commenting down below any of your suggestions and thoughts. But for dreadlocks, man, especially with a barber that, uh, if you guys don't know how skilled he is or anything like that, you don't want to get anything that goes close to your dreadlocks. Uh, I, I mean to say this, uh, I know J Rich, my boy right here, is good, but there are some barbers out there. Uh, like the one I went to last time with the 2.5 ratings that really didn't come through uh, and scared the crap out of me because I thought she was actually cutting my actual hair because I felt the snatch. Guys, today I'm going to go get some cut from a barber that has 2.5 ratings. 2.5! I felt the snatch. Alright guys, about to go in there. I'm kind of skeptical about it. It's kind of scared, but... Let's do it, you know what I'm saying? You only live twice. Hello. I chop them up, I don't know, put a bowl on their head, line them up, kick them out. You'll see later. Made sure that she didn't line up my front lines because I was so skeptical about that. I was like, don't just, whatever you do, don't don't try to come to the front. I told her not to line it up, but she kept on trying to force it. She's like, she might as well do it in the back. Might as well just, just do everything. And I'm like, no, I don't want everything done. Went back and forth about that, but she didn't. So I was like, thank you, Lord. All right, guys, we just got done uh, being ruined. I feel like I got ruined, I don't know. I can't even see. Uh, he told me it was pretty decent. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. So I'm gonna show y'all 360. One time I was just like, I felt the snatch. So I thought she had it, bro. I was like, oh shoot. I was like, I said, oh. And then she thought that she hurt me or something. And she was like, oh, sorry. And I'm like, I don't think you hurt me. Then you cut my hair. I don't know guys, comment below because I can't even see it. And so with dreadlocks, you want to get like, um, if you have a high top of course, you want to get like a taper fade, mid fade, low fade, uh, unless you're doing it yourself and you trust yourself enough. Uh, I usually cut my own hair and when I do that, I, I don't like doing it all throughout my whole entire head. So I just do tapers, the uh, sides in the back and it makes it easy and I even out all the way around it. So you see him starting off with just making sure that every hair that he's about to be cutting is at the length that it needs to be at and he starts to detail on everything that he's uh, he's doing to the lineup part because later on he's going to come back with the and hitting it. So he early began with the lineup because he wanted to know before he fade anything where the hairline is going to be at. You know what I'm saying? Because after sometimes you fade your lines up, you, you can't even find some of the, you know, the lineup that you supposed to have originally. And so I like the fact that he started that way. have the wall magic clippers and uh, this is exactly what he's using right now is what I have at the house and so he uses that for fading uh, as you guys see and then um, he uses the other one for some detail purposes like right right there he's, he's really detailing them with the corners and you want to use your corner blade especially when you're cutting a taper especially taper um, this is the last one I used to want to do this right there Customization? Is look, that him? Yeah. Look. Oh my God. Look, even the, the, a, the zip tie. There's a lace on there. Everything. Oh shoot. And he didn't post it, bro. How do you not post that? This guy's crazy. Crazy. 
how do you even do that? This guy's crazy. One of the barbers that worked there did that right there uh, with the Michael Jordan uh, Air, Air Jordan once uh, shoes on a client's head at a convention. That's just crazy. That is, but that's 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 crazy. Yeah, I don't know how he did that. He was able to pull it off. He put a lace and everything on top of that guy's head. Yeah, it's his son actually, uh, on his son's head, and it's crazy, man. It is. It's just too much talent, man, that they have in there. Um, so right here, he's just working on the back end. Uh, this is the hardest part for me when I cut my own hair, uh, just because I can't. I, it is hard for me to get in the back of there uh, with you know mirror using mirror and different things, but you still able to do it, you know. If you have not known, Activers Jewelries is out. tell you guys how to find the right barber so as you guys know finding a barber is very hard and very tough especially in areas like in the suburbs and different areas like um, you know or for example when I moved to Kansas City Kansas I used to live in Kansas City Kansas crazy I couldn't find a barber and so sometimes it could be tough somebody that knows how to cut you know drill locks and different things but this is how you find a good barber I would say look up on uh, YouTube videos that people already done with the drill locks and a lot of people already have social media and if they have a YouTube that's even a plus that they're trying to you know level up and do the things that they should be doing and uh, from those tutorial videos you guys be able to tell if they're legit or not if they don't have a YouTube of course that's like like the far the furthest reach Go to the Instagram. Instagram is the easiest way to find also barbers that are local uh, and you'll be able to check out the pictures and see if they have done hair texture like yours or hair type like yours, dreadlock, hairstyle like yours and different things uh, before you even go to them. Some barbers do steal some pictures from other people what they do and post it on their page like they did it. Uh, so you just got to be careful on those things. Uh, read also a review on their Google map and also on their Apple map because it's two different things. Because Apple map is connected to Yelp and so Yelp will be able to tell you basically what they had done before from the pictures and also from the reviews that people left. I would say anything that's above 4.5 is a good rating on, on the rating wise. I'm not saying it's a good barbershop. It could be one person that rated it, you know what I'm saying? So check out how many ratings they had and also check out you know their bad reviews because from bad reviews, you'll be able to tell if they really jacked up somebody before or not. But besides that, referrals. Uh, ask your friends uh, that has the same hair style as yours or hair type, different things like that, where, what barber they use. And sometimes even, and sometimes you'd be surprised who can cut pretty good hair it don't matter what ethnicity they are I've had a Mexican barber I've had a black barber I've had I don't know if I've ever had a Caucasian barber but I, I believe there are some out there that know how to cut so it's not about what race that you're looking for it's about somebody that went to somewhere that is the same texture as yours or hair texture or hair type or hairstyle as you giving your referral basically I'm not saying the person that's a barber has to be some kind of ethnic group because I don't I don't I don't think like that yeah after you confirm all those you would be able to find your barber so easily like that uh, for me I cut my own hair uh, if you guys want to learn how to cut your own hair make sure you check out my, my videos that says haircut videos because I've dumb it down to like the dumbest you can get it to even getting Walmart clippers different things like that and so uh, make sure you guys also check out the sponsor of the video which is activist.com link should be in the description uh, check that out and thank you guys for watching this video and next video you guys may not be happy on what happened dang a post credit scene I guess thank you guys for watching this video this is the before and after Love y'all. Thank you for supporting. I'm out.
Oh my god. Oh lord. I don't want to hear it. 